Here it is, the major update of Songbook Plus to version 4.0. So, what's new? Lots of things. I'll be showing you some of the new features in this video. Enjoy! Songbook Plus can now be run on the iPhone. And this is what it looks like. All of the familiar functions are here. Edit books, select, sorting options. Here you can select add or edit your playlists. I don't have one yet, but this would be the place for it. Search field, very familiar from the iPad app. It's all a bit smaller, but it works nonetheless. I'm browsing the settings here. There's the night mode, list view options, and here are the search options. Gesture control works just like with the iPad app. Let me show you a few more options here. Let me open a song here. And just as an example, another one. It would make more sense using optimized sheets for the iPhone here, since this is all a bit small, but then again, this is just a demo. This app turns universal with the update to version 4, and it can be run on the iPhone for the first time. While providing similar functions, its appearance differs slightly. On the menu with the three dots, you can find the import file function. From the text edit folder of my iCloud drive, I can easily import the Dance Monkey file by clicking on it. The import file function allows you to import many types of documents like PDF, music or video files and other file types you might need. You can import files for instance from your Dropbox or other cloud storage services from a folder on your device or from an external medium like a USB thumb or hard drive. Songbook Plus now supports multitasking. Any other multitasking aware app can be dragged from the dock into the already open Songbook Plus app. The width of each app in the resulting split screen can be adjusted easily. I'm using both apps side by side here. And by the way, Songbook Plus no longer claims the audio channels exclusively, which means that in theory, you can play music from both apps at the same time. The new multitasking capabilities also allow you to use the picture-in-picture -picture function. In this example, you can see the YouTube app inside Songbook Plus. Another example, here I'm using an app that allows remote control of my mixer. The picture-in-picture -picture feature permits me to do the mixing while running the Songbook Plus app simultaneously. The split screen might also come in handy for file management. Just keep Songbook Plus open while managing your iCloud or your local files. To end the split screen view, just drag the divider all the way to either side of the screen. Using the Files app, you can access the Songbook Plus data files. While you'd normally find all the Songbook Plus related data files in this folder, I've manually created two SBData prefixed folders named SBData Piano and SBData KeyJ Dave. From the Songbook Plus settings, I can then choose which data folder to use. You can easily copy files from the split screen by dragging and dropping them. I'm going to copy the lyrics of the song Africa from my iCloud drive here on the right hand side 
to my songbook folder on the left. Opening the file from the songbook folder confronts me with the import dialog. Since I've imported it before, I'm going to click cancel here. Before backing up or restoring your Songbook Plus data, it is best to close the app beforehand. Just select Exit Songbook Plus from the menu. Doing so ensures that no data changes in the background. Use the Files app to make a complete backup of your Songbook Plus data. You can see on the left hand side the backup folder on my external hard drive. In the pane on the right, I'll select the Songbook Plus Data folder from Locations and on my iPad. Simply copy and paste the Songbook Plus folder using the familiar click and hold functions. Restoring your files would work the other way round. There's a new feature called Night Mode. By switching it on or off, you can choose between the normal and the night mode colors. You can also choose to follow the iPad's system color scheme. Be it light or dark, Songbook Plus will adjust its color scheme accordingly. This also works for a time scheduled dark mode. If you don't want the night colors, select off here. The last feature I want to show you is the possibility to hide this connected disconnected message. From the settings menu, choose songbook to songbook connection, then the suppress connected disconnected nodes. Once activated, those messages will not show up anymore. These are the newly added features and functions. Also, a couple of bugs have been found and removed. The picture quality of PDF files when shown on external monitors has been improved and the audio kit has been updated. But the best part of this update is, in my opinion, the iPhone support. This is just splendid. The app stability is also remarkable. Enjoy the new version. A big thank you goes to Mr. Bauer for his continued support and effort. Many thanks for maintaining the Songbook Plus app.